I'm, I'm still part of the United Methodist Church. Uh, I'm a confirmed member. I have a voice, and I can take on this agenda from the inside. So you want to change it from the inside? Yeah, I want to change it from the inside. How come for you that a God actually does exist, like this Methodist God? I'm, I'm feeling very confident, and uh, I like... Do you uh, mind if we did something like this? Like, Say this is like, no way, Jose, and this is like... Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd say it's. I'd, I'd say it's Going like ahead. yeah. So, somewhere like around there. Cool. I'm right. I'm literally right here. Yeah. I'm not here. I'm not here. Like I'm. Are, are more agnostic. I'm, I'm exactly fifty percent. Okay. Uh, so, why like, are you so confident? Would you say that's like eighty percent or something like that? Uh, ninety. Ninety. Yeah. Ninety. Yeah. What made? You, what guide to that ninety percent level of confidence that a God exists? Well, I mean, like, uh, people try to use uh, science as a justification for why God isn't real, and I can understand their position, uh, but I believe, like, si like in this... Like, I can tell you, as a scientist, yeah. I hate that. Yeah. Because science has no... Yeah. Can't measure yeah. that, so and in, we can't in use it against it. in the name of it. science, you know, like, we... Like, we have a very vast universe. Yeah. We Our comprehension of it, yeah. percentage-wise, yeah. is in the single digits. Yeah. I think it would be illogical to just jump to the conclusion, like, God isn't real, but you're, period. But you're also saying God is real. So what's yeah. con what's confirming that? Because I agree. So, like, here's my thing. Yeah. If I flip a thousand coins, I'm at a 50-50%. I can ask science, hey, science, flip a thousand more coins. They're like, it's 50-50. I still don't know if this coin's heads up or tails up, right? I'm 50-50. 50-50. Yeah. So, like, but you're not saying 50-50. You're saying 50-50, 50% plus whatever got you that 90%. Yeah. What's getting you to that 90%? It's just I feel like, you know, it would, I feel like they're, like, with the vast universe that we have, I think it's very possible. I agree. And I, That's like, why I'm not counting yeah. it out or confirming it. Yeah. But and what's I confirming it for you? I tend to, like, mostly because, like, not so much, you know, like, not so much of my actual belief, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how to put it to words, but like I Take feel like time. yeah, I feel like uh, uh, especially like my values like help me confirm it. I, that might be a weird answer. Your values help you confirm it. What do you mean yeah. by that? Because I believe that there is more good in this world than bad. Do you need a God belief to, in order to believe that? I don't feel like I do. Um, so how do your values confirm to ninety percent that the God exists? I don't know. I, I think I definitely think part of it is just my upbringing, and you know. If you were raised a Hindu, would you be Hindu right now? And telling me about how Vishnu's probably like, it, yeah. Would do you believe in Vishnu? Uh, do you think Vishnu is an actual god right now? Uh, uh, I don't know how to answer that question. That's no. fine. Is it possible to be brought up to raise to, ra to be raised in a belief and that belief not be true? I think that that's absolutely absolutely possible. You know. Then what's getting to the ninety percent? Uh, I don't know. If we agree like, upbringing is uh, not reliable. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I would. Def I feel like I have to do a lot of soul searching to answer that question. Yeah, but you know, just based on my upbringing, this is what I am. Just like what I'm. But we know upbringing yeah, can also lead yeah. to wrong conclusions too. Right? Yeah. Can I throw something out? Yeah. It's that coin flip. Catch it back in my hand. I don't know if it's heads or tails. Do you know if it's heads or tails right now? No. Like I said, we go to science. 50-50. Yeah. I don't know if it's heads or tails. You don't know if it's heads or tails. That might be the best answer. I'm I'm not 90 that it's heads. I'm not 90 that it's tails. I'm just, I don't have enough information, but I'm willing to change my mind once I do. Yep. I want to know if anything's justifying that additional 40%. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's justifying it. It's just I like, think I, I don't think know is the best like a, answer. Huh? I think I don't know is the best answer. Yeah. So then is your confidence justified i would say just um i don't i don't know how i would justify it it's just it comes from a gut feeling that's that it, it, it is irrational are I'd gut say. feelings a, a reliable way to reach a true conclusion uh and sometimes sometimes yes you know like uh when it comes but sometimes to test, no right sometimes yes sometimes no like when it comes to test taking is it 90 percent reliable uh I'd, I'd say so. I mean, like, that's coming from my own bias towards myself. But, like, in test taking, and you, you don't know how to approach a question, yeah. the teachers say, go with your gut feeling, and that's usually the right answer. Okay. And so, yeah. So, that, yeah. If, if you didn't study for a test, and it's like rocket science, and you just have it, can you pass it with just gut feelings? Uh, Could you get a 90, I, an A or above, with just gut feelings? It's certainly possible. I don't know. It is, but is it likely? And is it reliable? Like, I could guess yeah. that it's heads and be right. Yeah. But is that a reliable way, just guessing... 
And why is an I don't know the best answer for when I don't know something? Yeah, it, it, it's a, I don't really know how to answer that question either. But yeah, it's, it, it takes a lot of soul searching and thinking. Uh, like more, probably much more time than we have. Something I'd like you to consider is, am I justified with the amount of confidence I have? And if so, let me know because I want to be justified in my beliefs too. And if you have a reliable way, I want to be wherever the confidence leads me to. But if I'm at 50%, it doesn't mean that I'm saying that it doesn't exist. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that either. And I'm not saying that it 90% does. I'm just saying, I don't know might be the best answer. I think that's the intellectually honest place to be. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What as do you far, think? As far as like, you know, with my beliefs being like the right ones, um, I am I am generally accepting of all religions. I'm happy yeah. for anyone to believe whatever they want to believe. Yeah. But I want my beliefs to be true. Yeah. And if I don't know if they're true or not, I'm fine with saying I don't know. But like as far as like the monotheistic religions like uh, Christianity, which recently has been facing a debate of whether it's polytheistic because we have the, the saints and all the we, yeah. When I was Baptist we didn't have the saints. Yeah. <laughs> but like yeah, some some sure, sure, sure. denominations. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you know then you have Judaism yeah. and Islam. Uh, we there is a common belief like Did you say people. Judaism and Islam? Yeah. Like, Those so, are the same yeah. Islam is a part of Judaism. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, like you take the three main monotheistic religions, they stem from the same... Three most popular? Yeah. Yeah, the three main ones. Yeah, and then... Uh, that are all in the same umbrella? Yeah, they're all, they're all in the, under the same umbrella. <laughs> like, some people... Yeah, some people, uh, you know... Only and for the I, last 2,000 years? Too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Go for it, go for yeah, it. Yeah, some it. people, uh, you know, in those religions, mm. uh, not everyone, uh, like, believe that we all worship the same God. We just have different prophets, different uh, traditions. I hear that. And, yeah. But you can agree that... Yeah. Different people have different impressions of God. Yeah. So how do you know yours is the right one? Uh, I, I you have might no, be, you might be, you, sh you should probably, you could be Muslim. Yeah. You sh probably should be Muslim in in some hypothetical sense. Yeah. And right? I, I try to look at other religions and see what their traditions are, um, and you know, and like exactly what they believe in, contrary to other religions. I was like, is that a reliable way to know if a God exists? Uh, no. I but I would like I would say like you know. It's, you know, even though George Carlin was an atheist, I agree with him. He said, uh, religion is like shoes, uh, you know, just find whatever fits. Yeah. I thought George Carlin said, I'm going to start worshiping Joe Pesci and see if anything different happens. Well, that was, and he this, did it, and was, literally nothing different happened. This was, <laughs> <laughs> well, this was earlier in his career when he was he uh -huh. made jokes about religion, but he wasn't, like, you know, very hardcore atheist, or at least in his language. Cool, cool. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, there's. There, I have a lot of like. I have a lot of irrational feelings about religion. I'm going to admit that, but you know, like you know, that's. that's Would you like your beliefs to be justified with more reasonable? Yeah. Methods. Yeah. In the event that you don't have a reasonable method, why have the belief? Uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like, I feel like the best answer to that would be just like. You know, I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it because you're I've here. Been, at, you're at the bridge now. You're here at the bridge right now. <laughs> Why do you believe it if you don't have a good reason to believe it? I mean, I think. Why are you ninety percent if you don't have a ninety percent reliable method to have this? Belief? Well, if well, like if we're at this interest in which, like you know, everything I I believe, like science eventually does prove that there's no way that exists. I don't think science will ever be able to do that, in my opinion. But yeah. continue. But you know, if I should come at that crossroads in which you know everything I believe has been disproven in one way or another. Interesting. Yeah, I would say like, okay, I was back in the wrong horse. Can I throw something? For a belief where it could be one thing or the other, God exists, doesn't exist, heads, tails, am I better off assuming I'm right until I'm proven wrong or holding off on making a decision either way until I can make an informed decision? Well, I'd, well I, it depends on the situation. Like when it comes to religion, I'd say like I definitely... Like I, I, I'll definitely stick to my principles. I don't, I don't believe in the hide and abide approach. Hide and abide? What is that? Hide and abide. Just like I'll hold back and I'll see what happens. You know, and yeah, you know, like I, I, I don't feel like I can make a decision. But you're, you're confident until you're proven wrong. Is that generally a reasonable way to go about things? Because, for example, there could be a Hindu who's saying, "Well, I'll wait until this guy proves Hinduism is." incorrect until then I'll keep being a Hindu and he's believing a completely different God than your God but only one of you guys could be right maybe none of you guys are right yeah. how how what's more reasonable way than just saying it's tails prove me wrong couldn't it just be I don't know what the right answer is 
Yeah, that's I, not my problem. That's the coin's problem. Yeah. <laughs> coin. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what the right answer is. Yeah, I think that's the best answer. I don't think. I think that's the best answer. Yeah. Um, in the event that I don't know is possibly the best answer, we look back at the ninety percent. I'm not saying you have to be fifty, but yeah. like, do you think your ninety percent is justified? Um, I don't know. I, I, I think I don't know. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's justified. I hope. I hope it is. Again, yeah. And that's and that's faith. You know, faith is just. You How know. do you define faith? Uh, faith. I just de- define it. You know, I don't want to go as far as to call it like uh, you know illogical. I mean, or it is illogical, but I wouldn't necessarily like. I'd say it's just kind of. Uh, it's a belief in something without any specific like physical proof for it. Not saying that that, belief, that that implies that it's wrong. Belief with no physical proof. Yeah. Is that a reliable way to reach a true conclusion? I, I, I could I, I have faith that the coins heads. Yeah, you could. Could I be wrong? Yeah, you could be wrong. Yeah. So like, I, I, yeah, if my faith was proven wrong, I guess I would. I, Why I, use faith at all if we know I can have faith in things that aren't true? It's just again, it's a, it's just a gut feeling. Irrational. Gut feeling is not reliable. Not always reliable. I don't know. Not ninety percent yeah. reliable. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what would be reliable. It's just. Then know. why believe it? I don't. It. It, it make it. The, the idea that there is a higher being out there, you know, and like the, the belief that you know because of that being, there there could be more good than, than evil in the world. Like it, it gives me it, it gives me solace in a way. It makes you comfortable. Yeah, it makes me comfortable. Is being yeah. comfortable proof that something exists? There's things that I could believe no, that make me feel really I comfortable. I would say it, it proves it, but, you know, it, again. Do you need a, the God belief to feel comfortable? Couldn't you uh, just have faith in humanity? Or, hey, yeah, I'm going to go out and help people today. I'm yeah. going to sing for my choir. Yeah. I'm going to play the drums. I'm going to make music for people, make them happy. Yeah. I'm going to help someone that's career. Yeah. He, it's like I'm... Yeah, I, I don't know how exactly I answer the question. I'd love for you to think about that. Yeah, I, 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 I do think about religion every now and then. Harry, I really appreciate this talk. All right. Yeah. Are, are, are we done? Yeah. 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 I, I it was really a pleasure talking to you. You give me a lot to, to think you. about. Yeah. Feel free to take a card. I'd love to hear back from you. Uh, you can take stickers, too. Hey, if you want a shirt, poke them up. All right, I, got, I already got a shirt when I, was, when I came by here earlier. Nice, nice, nice. I haven't even gotten a shirt yet. I'm trying to save as many for everybody else. If there's scraps, I'm taking them all. But <laughs> anyway, uh, by the way, Reed, do you have your card as well? Do you have a card? This is my buddy, Reed. He also does interviews like this all the time. He's really, really good. Yeah, yeah. Can I go around? I really appreciate talking to you. Go around to me?